So something that's been on my mind fairly recently after making that first video is how creativity affects the world that we live in and how we wouldn't really be able to advance as a society without creativity. Like say, for example, you wanted to make some food, like you wanted to cook an animal, right? To do that, you need some sort of tools to help you cook it like a fire and to make a fire you have to figure out how to like light everything and place things that will burn rather than things that won't burn you have to have some sort of intelligence and creativity so i i think that creativity is a vital part of the world that we live in and imagine a world without creativity so creativity is our ability to think of something new um how would you even be able to watch this video if you didn't have any sort of creativity or if people didn't have any sort of creativity that would be impossible because no one would have created the platform that you're watching this on and there have been many many famous people throughout history that have been extremely creative and extremely helpful in advancing our society as we are today but i think that everyone has some sort of creativity because some people say oh i'm not creative i'm just gonna stick to not creating anything or not trying anything new but i think everyone is creative now your medium of like creation like how you're outputting that creativity into a source is different between everyone like some people are good at drawing some people are good at building like architects and other people are good at creating music and all of that is still creativity but if you were to take someone who is not good at art and compare them to someone who is people would say oh the person who's not good at art is not creative when their creativity field and where their strengths are are just not in the field of art which there's nothing wrong with that everyone has their different strengths and weaknesses but if you were to compare two people in the field of art with two different completely fields like let's say a person did a painting and with lots of colors and someone else did a drawing of a house in all black and white with lots of straight lines and very little uh, curves and it just was very rigid who is more creative I, I don't know how you would tell the difference in creativity because they're there really isn't. They're creative in their own ways. I guess the point that I'm trying to put across is everyone is creative in their own special way. Now, if we apply this to the game of Minecraft that you see I'm playing in the background, everyone plays it a little differently. You never know how someone's gonna play it. Some person or some people might want to build with any blocks that they can, whereas other people try to only build with a certain set of blocks that they know or and don't like to branch out. There's nothing wrong with that. Everyone plays the game in their own way. But what really drives my love for the game of Minecraft is the endless possibilities of creativity outlets that you can have. You can go from building something like a house to making a farm to making a factory to anything that you can think of. It's almost like another output for people who um, want to be creative, like an artist. It, 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 it's like a canvas for, for an artist, right? But when people look at what you've done and it is your creation and they judge you for it and they say, no, that's not creative at all, that's really bad, that can limit someone's creativity to being more, oh, just because other people think of this of me, I'm not gonna create how I want to. So I guess what I'm trying to say overall is don't let other people tell you how to be creative. Everyone is creative and be your own creative person. I think that's all I have for now. So I'll see you next time.